Hey guys, Moose Gun here. Um, uh, today, uh, I was actually installing my uh, Picatinny rail on my MMP Sport, MMP15 Sport, and um, I thought I might do a short video. Um, you know, like I said, I was, well, I was halfway done, and then that's when I realized maybe I should do a video of someone on YouTube might be interested in doing the same thing. Now uh, I like the, the A2 style handguard look, so I'm keeping it. Um, but I also wanted to add a Picatinny rail at the bottom to uh, see if I want to add a light or a, or a grip or something at a later time. Um, but what I like about this rail is that on an A2 handguard, it starts out uh, it starts out here, and then as it goes towards the front, it gets slimmer. Now, if you add a you cut a regular little piece of rail, but what happens is that when you're when you add a, a grip or something, then it then it's gonna can't forward a little bit once you install it. But because this compensates for that, it gets the Picatinny rail actually gets a little bit thicker towards the front. So then now it's flat at the bottom, and when you do add like a like a grip or something, it'll stay uh, vertical instead of canting forward a little bit like that. I don't know if that makes a big difference, but anyways. Um, now, I had a real hard time finding this because I was searching EMA Tactical Picatinny Rail. But when I got the package, it, on the package it says CAA. So, um, if you, you want to look for this, you might look for uh, EMA Tactical Picatinny Rail or maybe search CAA uh, Picatinny Rail. Now, I paid $12 for this and then $11 shipping, I paid $23. So shipping was kind of high, but whatever. But um, yeah, like I said, the only place I could find this was uh, under ableammo.com, and uh, it's under EMA Tactical Rail. But uh, I'm not gonna take this apart. It's pretty simple. You just slap it on there. You screw in all the screws, and, and then put your board it back. But I will say this: I had to. Uh, it doesn't fit. Just straight up when you get this. You, I had to drummel out a little bit, little part of my plastic part on the, uh, the hand uh, the hand guard a little bit. I forced it in and was able to go in, but it looked like it was bending a little bit. It was warped. It just didn't look right. I, I, was, I wasn't comfortable actually screwing it on tight after that, so um, I just dremeled out a, just a little bit, just very little bit there on top, or yeah, I guess you could have done on the bottom here. Uh, this part went in fine. It's just that it was this one or this one wasn't going to go in, so I had to dremel out a little bit and then it just fit in perfectly. Um, so, yeah. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Later.